the fifth stage was dubbed the Queen Stage, with 2,500 metres of climbing in less than 100 kilometres, and it was clear from the early pace that the general classification contenders were keen to ride aggressively. A succession of steep climbs soon thinned the lead group out as they made their way along the lower slopes of the Hawekwa Mountains. The yellow jerseys of Team Bulls Carl Platt and Us Hooper made use of the backup team to set the pace. In amongst the group were Dolomiti Superbike, Trek Celesa Marco and Centurion Voter by Mirandal. The relentless nature of the terrain meant that only the very strong could maintain the tempo and by the last major challenge up Freedom Struggle Climb, only a select few had survived. Centurion Voda's Robach and Fromme, Ilias and Ferreira of Dolomiti, Bulls and Poron Ferrara of Trek Celes and Marco. The bone crusher descent split the group further and on the long drag towards the finish it was only two teams, Platt and Uber and Centurion Voda. Coming into the finish, Platt was unable to get between Robach and Fromme after Hubert had gone up the road and the Centurion Voda team collect their second stage win of the week. Yeah, after today's uh, stage we had lots of trouble in, in the stage and um, but I'm happy that uh, we didn't lose any time and finished second. Um, so I think it's going, I can't wait uh, till we go to Merendal. Now it's, it gets a little bit, uh, yeah, everyone is a little bit tired and uh, yeah, it's, it's just counting kilometers. The Sasa women's race was another intriguing tactical battle as Spurs specialized said about defending their race leaders' orange jerseys whilst the three pursuers looked for an opportunity to snatch a stage win. The Sassel hotspot at 31 kilometers was taken by Sabine Spitz and Jana Balamoyna of Sport for Good. Over the final climb, it was down to Bigham and Morat of Topi Gergen, Kleinans and Langfell of Spurs Specialized, and the Sport for Good pair. The latter combination managed to open a gap on the bone crusher descent and held on to that advantage for the next 10 kilometers to take their first stage win in their debut epic. With two stages to go, Team Bulls have a vice-like grip on the general classification. Three of these six men are experiencing the race for the first time. Sassel women's leader Spurs Specialized are in an even stronger position as they chase a third consecutive victory.